All right. Hi, everyone. I hope you're doing well. The That's my hello. Um, I just got done with finals. It was a rough fall term. Um, so Belly and I ended up going shopping. Belly, do you want to say hi? No, he's mad at me because <gasps> um, I ended up getting these really cute little reindeer mittens. And you guys know what these are, right? Like they're mittens, but then the, <laughs> the I guess the finger parts flap back and then you can button it. And that way, your fingers are free for traction. Say you are driving and you want a little bit more traction on the steering wheel. Or I use these also great for um, getting your finger out so you can, you know, play with your um, smartphone. But anyway, I had that on earlier today and Bentley thought it was a little scary. So he's, do you see him balefully looking at me? What's wrong, Bentley? Be nice. And that's the look he gives me after I took him shopping with me. Anyway, just wanted to do a quick Daiso haul um, and share with you some ideas and certainly some items that I picked up. So um, some of you have probably seen this. Oh, for those of you who don't know, Daiso is kind of the equivalent of um, the Japanese dollar tree, except everything's $1.50. And usually I tend to stick with the $1.50 items. No. Um, from time to time, you'll see a few things that aren't $1.50, maybe like $3 or $4. I have on occasion bought some of those, but for the most part, I think this haul is all $1.50. So they always have this hanging and I was like, what do you do with that? And then they have these like this flat thing. And then for some reason, I think I was on Pinterest um, the other day and I saw someone use this as kind of like a wall hang. They'll either like stand this against a wall, either this way or the other way. And then they had clothespins. You know how it's all the rage right now to decorate your clothespins? They had clothespins here as they were standing against the wall with like clips of notebook um, papers or like um, just lots of little knickknacks. And I thought this would be such a great idea. And I found one that this is what it looks like when I um, hook it on. But I thought that these would be really great to just kind of lean against one of the bathroom counter walls. And then I can put something light here, like, I don't know, um, cotton balls or um, Q-tips or, you know, things like that. So just in case I would need two, I bought two. So this whole set in total is, what, $4.50? Not too bad. And then I love the fact that it's versatile, so if I don't want to use it, in that current system, I can break it up and then use it elsewhere around the house. So I think that's one of the draws for me in terms of getting um, more of these kind of temporary organization um, items instead of the more permanent wood or plasticky, that type of thing. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Yes, I am getting over a big um, illness and it was really rough because as I was writing my final research paper, which was actually not a very good story because I got sick, didn't have time, and then marking with Grazo was insane. Anyway, um, this actually is, I don't know if you guys can see, this is actually a gift for a friend who loves yellow. And she, I don't think, watches my Gracie 21 YouTube channel, so I think I'm safe. But it's the cutest little thing. Look, you just put your cell phone here. And it's like your little cell phone is sitting on a chair. And um, very cute. You know, it doesn't swivel, I don't think. But I was thinking of taking this off and then using some of my little stickers and writing, you know, personalizing it with her name there. And then let me show you. This is what I've been really loving. And I know Daiso has a um, plaid version of this or a checkered version. But I actually bought one, um, I think... Anna Mobile would probably call this shabby chic um, design, but hold on. All right, sorry, Bentley needed to um, go down. He was, for some reason, wanting to go down from the desk. Anyway, so she probably called this shabby chic. Um, I recently ended up buying a blue one. I had hemmed and hawed for, I would see it for weeks on end, and I months actually, and I was like, no, we don't need it. It's okay. We'll. We'll use other things. And then just one day I just caved in and I got the blue one. And this is what it actually looks like. So those of you who, um, I think the only people I've seen use this actually are Asian parents. Um, and so, of course, I grew up with food covers like this. And so this part here is kind of a mesh screen. So you'll see this part here. And that allows the air to get through. But at the same time, it covers it so that you don't have to worry about 
um, flies or any, you know, unwanted guests at the dining table. I'm heading over. So I thought that I ended up getting the blue one and it was really cute. And I thought the red one would be nice too, because sometimes you need two. And it folds up like a little umbrella. And then when you need to open it, it folds up like that. So that's a food cover. Very useful. Um, this they finally had in blue. And the funny thing is it rests on its own little tray. And um, it stacks. It's stackable. And you're, the jingling that you're hearing it, or the rattling that you're hearing is actually a spoon. So if you're using it the way it's intended, which is as a seasoning box, and I suppose you could embellish it or personalize it if you wanted, um, you lift this and on the lid is a little holder on top, you know, underneath the lid that houses a little spoon. And so you can use that to spoon out sugar or salt or pepper or whatever else, you know, um, you need spice wise or whatnot. I don't, and you know, I think that's a really great idea in terms of the spoons, great way to save, um, space and things like that, because you know, it always sucks if you're looking for a spoon and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, what I planned on using this for was actually, whoops, for, um, crafts and little doodads and so um, certainly you can use this for those of you who use um, a lot of buttons for your crafts you can put one for buttons one for I don't know ribbons and you know so on and so forth and they're stackable so um, it comes in blue the yellow over there that yellow this blue and then it also comes in a pink and a um, lime green and so I had the pink and the green and actually, incidentally, I can show you the color. That's the pink color that it comes in. Let me see if I have the lighting. That's the pink color it comes in, and that's the green color that it comes in. So um, I got the blue, I have the pink, and I have the green one from a previous haul. And I am debating whether or not to get the yellow one. But yes, I do like the fact that you can stack it, and it's great because you can see through the um, case and so on. So... Anyway, so there's that. Um, right here you'll see one of the cute little Daiso Kleenex covers. And it's just really nice. It has some pom-poms and it's a fuzzy little thing. And it's just a nice way to kind of pretty up your Kleenex box. Although these Scotties, um, what is it, 2-ply 200, they're nice design as it is. You can't really see, but anyway. Um, the reason why it doesn't fit, actually, is I decided to be economical, and I opted for the 200 sheet one instead of the 120, which is what normally Scotty's um, makes. So that's why it's not fitting quite nicely, but hey, I figure I don't mind the 200 or the 80 extra sheets, right, for the same price. So Anyway, um, let me then move on to some of the washies. Now, um, I do like the washi tapes at the um, Daiso for the most part, and I took it out um, earlier today, so this is what it looks like, and I like the fact that it's 15 millimeters by 15 meters, and so you get quite a bit for $1.50, which I think is a pretty good deal, um, and this is, you know, what you would find, I think, at Recollections. Um, at Michael's or any of the other craft stores, and those usually tend to be a little bit more expensive. So, great deal. I did get the one that is white with the black polka dots, and so that's what it's look going to look like, and I just thought it would be a nice way to embellish something if I was going more for like a classic look. Now, um, I can't remember who gave me this idea, but I saw this, and I thought, what a brilliant idea, because she was saying, this is a Daiso, so obviously, um, you know, I have this here in the Daiso hall. I mean, they're dish rack. It's a dish drying rack, but um, the way I currently have my washi tapes, the ones that I'm using pretty regularly when I um, do mailings, um, letters and cards and things like that, especially for Christmas, is I just, I know this is so ghetto fabulous, but in my pencil box, I, for whatever reason, I have a wrench in there. And so I've just been kind of, you know, um, what's the word? Holding. My wrench has been holding my washi tape. The other washi tape, of course, are nicely in their little display case and such, but um, I thought it was such a great idea what she had, and so I thought, oh, because this is great, because this will fit three washi tapes comfortably, and I actually don't like using washi tape um, from a dispenser, because I like having a clean edge and not wasting as much washi tape. Um, if you haven't figured it out by now, after watching me for so long, you know that I try to not waste as much as I can or as to waste as little as I can. And so oftentimes I know that the really professional crafters 
they just don't want to deal with you know precise measurements and things like that and so they'll do a little bit of overlap just because you know they're they're professional crafters you know it's easy for them and it's not that big a deal for them for me it you know i'm not and i just don't like wasting so <laughs> i like the fact that i can take it out and then like really line it and then cut it and you know things like that so there's that so um there's this and then um the other things are, now, all of you guys have seen this, and I saw this earlier at my um, Daiso, and I liked it because I, I do like the Eiffel Tower in Paris and things like that, but I decided not to get it because if you'll take a look, the lettering, it's coming out fairly nicely here now on camera, but for some reason... Um, just in real life, um, because there's no, I guess, contrast other than the raised letterings and such and the design, it kind of, I, I don't know how to explain it, but it just doesn't pop. I don't know if that makes sense. So on Pinterest, I saw someone actually Sharpie the embossed, and it gives it this nice, crisp, black outline and it just was really pretty this pale pink against um you know in sharp relief with the black sharpie and so i don't necessarily know if i'm gonna do the um black sharpie i'm gonna try and see i have the gold sharpie um so i'm gonna try and see what the pink looks like with gold and we'll kind of see if it looks okay i figure if i make a mistake and i don't like the gold i can just always go over it with black right i, I hope <laughs> anyway, um, so now this is the magnetic strip. I actually don't remember if Dollar Tree sells these, these rolls of magnetic um, tape, but on one side, this side is adhesive. I actually bought this because um, some of you guys know I'm a teacher and from time to time, some of my students are um, very appreciative and at the end of the term, they'll um, give me like a small little Starbucks gift card or, you know, things like that as a thank you. And so usually what I do with those gift cards is I wait until Christmas, um, after Christmas sale, when everything's like 50% off, and then I'll use my Starbucks gift cards so that I can actually buy Starbucks drinkware and things like that on sale a lot, you know, more so that let's say a student gives me a $5 gift card, instead of using that $5 gift card on say, you know, a cup of coffee, which I think is what the student intended, but you know, once I drink it, it's gone. And what I'll do is I'll wait until the clearance, and then with that $5, I'll actually buy one of their clearance drink mugs. And you guys know me with my drinkware and such. So um, that way then I have a physical reminder of something that my um, student had given me. But I actually had accumulated all these gift cards, and I thought I didn't want to throw them away. And I know that um, some of you who play guitar, you guys know they have that guitar pick punch thing where you can use like credit cards or gift cards and you punch it and then it like comes out in the shape of a um, guitar pick, right? So I thought about using that for guitar picks, but I was just like, I have way too many gift cards. You know, what am I going to use with those? Because I have over like 10, 15 that I've just accumulated over time and I just don't like throwing those away. And some of you guys know Starbucks gift card, they have a really cute design sometimes. And so I thought, why not just buy some magnetic tape? And then I have a label maker. And so I wrote down the student's name and like when they gave it to me. And then I use the label maker and put that on the back of the gift card so I know exactly who gave me the gift card. And then I'll put that at the top. And then um, in my office, I have these metal black file cabinets and things like that for a lot of my files. And so um, I started to just place all my Starbucks gift cards on there. And so, you know, I figure it'll be a nice, unique way of doing file cabinet decor, if you will, but also a good reminder of, you know, some of the students who've given me gift cards, certainly. And, you know, you know, after a long day when you're like, oh, I was such a bad teacher, it's nice to um, be reminded visually that, you know, you're not doing that bad of a job that students do appreciate. And, you know, that hopefully um, I am that one little stepping stone in their road to success and achieving their goals and such. But anyway, so that's for that. Long story short, right? Um, you guys are probably like, wow, Grace is really talking a lot. These 
<laughs> All right. Um, the other thing is, for those of you who watch um, Korean dramas, you probably know, for some reason, um, and maybe it's not just Korea, but just Asia in general, um, it's a fashion. Glasses are fashion statements. And I know that in the U.S., we've always thought glasses are fashion statements as well in terms of like sunglasses, but not really with prescription glasses, right? I mean, they're so expensive. We don't buy like multiple um, as fashion statements. I don't know. Some of you guys may, but I usually only have one or two pairs and that's it. doesn't matter what I wear. I just wear my glasses. But anyway, um, I saw this white framed pair of glasses. These are without lenses. So they, these are definitely for fun, for fashion, um, accessory. And then you guys know Daiso has these really cute accessory, um, handcrafting section. And so they have these, which is a fuzzy ribbon with hearts and stuff. And these I'll probably use for later. But I thought, do you guys see this? All my Hello Kitty loving friends. So what I'm going to do is get some hot glue gun, put a little bit of hot glue. I think it's on here or is it here? Hello Kitty, guys, is it here? I think it's here, right? But anyway, so I thought, here, can you imagine what it's going to look like with the ribbon? I'm like so bad with this. Oh. My poor little ribbon, it got smushed. Okay, so, and then you have your makeshift Hello Kitty eyeglass without having to deal with the glasses for $3 or under $3 since I'm not going to use the other embellishments, at least not for this project. And so one of these days, um, on over on my other channel, um, I have not posted very much on that channel either, but I try to wear something from time to time as kind of like cute little gimmick, so I'll probably wear that. Um, when I am posting my Christmas video, end of the year video, and hopefully now that I'm on winter break, I'll have a little bit of time so I can come here onto this channel and show you a face-to-face -face video as well. So, um, if I remember, I will remember to wear this as I talk with you guys as well. So, okay, so there's that. And then <clears throat> I told my, um, Daiso person because we're still, I still live in an area that does um, bags and the poor woman looks so harassed I just told her hey don't worry about the bag I don't need a plastic bag let's be you know recyclable and let's be green and um, you can just put all the stuff here so that's why I was taking things out of this container not that you guys needed to know right but anyway so I was looking for the white one which I suppose it kind of looks white from this lighting but it's actually a lavender purple, which I think this color does it nicely. You can see um, it's this metal. And um, again, I suppose it's kind of that shabby chic floral design a little bit. I had seen this a while back and I was thinking, should I get it? Should I not? And I probably should have gotten it when there was the white one, too, um, just because I, I, I'm trying to go a little bit more uniform in terms of my color scheme. So in my bathroom, since this is white, I was thinking, you know, maybe going white. Anyway, I still wanted to get the purple one just in case. And so, you know, for fun, what I've been doing since I couldn't go you know, shopping a whole lot is, and I don't know if you guys do this too, but you know, when I study or I'm taking a break from grading or working or working out on the treadmill and things like that, I'll just hop on YouTube and look at haul videos because I don't like going shopping. Um, or let me rephrase that. I like going shopping when I know exactly what I want to look for, right? So this is one of the things that I was looking for. And so it's great. You can put brushes here. You can put certainly this for pencils or, you know, what have you. So I thought that this would be great slowly but surely. So um, I think that's it. Um, there were a few more items I feel like. Hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, 13 items. I'm trying to think if I have everything. But anyway, this was it. This was my Daiso haul uh, for December. Just wanted to share it with you, um, just in case some of you guys have access to a Daiso, and that way you can kind of see some of the ideas that are floating around. I've been really enjoying Pinterest because they have some really great ideas um, from Daiso stuff. So anyway, and YouTube as well. So all right, guys, it's been fun. I hope that my video made sense. It's been a while since I filmed a video, and so it's one of those weird things where I think it's going to take me a while to get back into the groove of filming. But just want to share this with you guys, and I will see you later. Bye!